Hey guys, Everything Jailbroken here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys one new tweak that just came out yesterday, and then also a brand new widget that actually just came out today. So, uh, very, both of them are very cool, and I think you guys are going to really like them, and I'm excited to show them to you. So the first one I want to talk about is the widget, and this is what's giving me this really cool Windows look to my home screen, and it is called OPW W10. But uh, it's very, very extensive, and I've never seen a widget that you can interact with this much. So that's very cool. Uh, if you click on the Windows icon on the bottom left here, this will pop up, and it'll show you five different favorite apps. And these are apps that you can change and rearrange within the settings of the widget, and I'll show you that later. But below that, you'll see uh, a few different folders that you can jump right into, like Cydia, Settings, Safari. You can click Add Widget, and it'll take you into your widgets like that. And then you can click all apps and it'll take you into this app drawer, uh, like kind of like Android, but uh, it shows you all your applications. And then also in here, you'll notice this bell in the top right and it has a 104 underneath it. And that is showing me all my different notifications that I have. So if you tap on it, then it'll show you all the different apps that have notifications. So that's pretty neat. And then to the right of this Windows icon, you'll see four different apps. And these are my most recently visited apps. So I'll kind of show you. So if I go into Clash of Clans and then back out of it and scroll over, you'll notice that Clash of Clans is the um, one on the far left there. So then if I tap on the battery here, you'll notice that this little thing pops up and it shows you just little things like the memory and the data and uh, the available space on your device. And then lastly on this bar here, um, if you tap on the clock and date right here, then it'll take you right into your clock app just like that. And then let me take you into the uh, settings for the widget and show you um, everything you can do there. So the first thing I want to show you is drawer button. Um, it'll come with June's drawer defaulted, um, but it's not near as good as app drawer, which is the one that I just showed you. So I'd encourage you to go to Cydia and get app drawer and then use that one. But uh, a few other things you can do, change the bar color, menu button color, uh, I haven't messed with that too much, but um, and then app options, this is where you can choose which ones you want as your favorites. So if you just tap on favorite number one, this is going to be the top app, and you can choose from all of these. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to come out with Clash of Clans on here. I don't know why they have Pokemon Go and not Clash of Clans, but it's whatever. <laughs> and so... You can choose whichever apps you want to be your favorites. That, so that's really neat. But that's pretty much all you can do with this widget. There's one more feature that I want to show you, which is pretty cool. You can double tap on the home screen, and this bar will come up on the side. And uh, so it's, it'll show you all your applications. And if you click on one, then it'll create like a um, copied icon for that app. And what's cool is that it works, and it takes you right into it like that. And you can also move it around anywhere on the home screen that you want. And then to get rid of it, you just slide it down like that to delete it. And also, I don't know why you'd need to do this, but you can also create multiple ones of the same app or just different ones and kind of make it look like a, a PC or desktop look with them on the side here. So... This widget is so extensive, like I said, and you can do so much with it, which I love. Um, but that's pretty much it for, for this widget. Um, let me delete these, and then we'll get into the tweak. All right, so the tweak that I want to show you guys is one called Launchpad. And so if we go into Cydia here, it is in the Big Boss repo. And it is $2.50, but I think it's worth it. Um, but what it allows you to do, it uh, lets you place different pages inside of the top portion of the reachability feature. So different pages that you can include are the applications, music, date and time, weather, quick toggles, notifications, or the battery. So you can kind of see what it looks like right there in those pictures. But let me show you real quick. So if I activate reachability... It'll take me straight into my notifications just like that. Uh, so really cool. I find it a lot faster and easier to do that than 
have to swipe down from the top because sometimes it doesn't even work when you try to swipe down from the top or it goes into today and you have to go over I don't know I just like this a lot better um, and think that Apple should probably just include that in there anyways because it's so much faster but then if you swipe over you can find your applications and I only have three different pages um, in the tweak right now uh, and then music but let me take you into the settings so that you can see what um, all the other pages look like. So go into Launchpad and then go to Pages. And then this is where you can choose which pages that you want to include in the tweak. And so obviously if you want all of them, just drag them all up like that. And then if I activate it here, you can see that I have seven different pages. And they're in order from their order on the uh, settings. And so there's the different toggles weather, battery, all the different ones. So this is a really cool way of getting into um, a feature just by using the reachability. But a few other things you can do, um, hide the page dots in the app or the slider. And then if you go into general, all you can do here is pretty much change the background color uh, of the different pages. So a really cool tweak. I'd encourage you guys to try this one out. See if you like it. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. But this is everything Jailbroken signing out.